do you think that you know it is worth spending so much on rebroadcasting um for his presentation and i'm not sure can anybody say what was the figure for the opposition leader mark golden um presentation Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Anissa Bell Rose. Bless up another day, guys. Come to drop some topics that I've seen circulating in the news. And first, I'm going to be speaking on the 10 most wanted men that was listed in South St. Andrew, as well as, you know, Prime Minister Andrew Olness spends big money on, you know, media broadcasts. Big money, big money. But well, let me get into the first part of the topic, guys. So guys, according to the news, the police have swarmed along with the military. So it's a police military team effort working, swarming the Greenwich Town and Whitfield Town communities. Guys, they say that um, there's a lot of uneducated culprits in those spaces with high powered weapons shooting at each other, killing innocent people just the same. Right? Police Senior Superintendent Kirk Ricketts told the media during an interview that Whitfield Town is under operation. So they, they said that they don't believe that these men will come in based on um, them seeing their names, you know, plastered all over the media. And so, them out there by foot, hunting them. Mr. Ricketts also said that they believe that these individuals that are, you know, person of interest, are the main perpetrators behind the violence in the communities. He also told the media that they are an average of 70 gangs operating in that division alone, of which 40 of them are active gangs. Active gangs, guys. In this next segment, guys, Prime Minister Andrew Olness spends 2.4 million to eight media houses for the live broadcast of his contribution to the 2023-2024 budget debate on Thursday, March 16th. Guys, an additional 5 million was spent. So in total, a 7.4 million he paid to have four other private media houses, including the island's two major free-to-air television stations, to carry the presentation days after it was done. While a fifth media house carried the rebroadcast at no cost as a part of a package deal. In addition to that, guys... The Prime Minister allocated 1,000 US dollars for projected social media posts related to the broadcast. So those media houses were KLAS, Gospel JA, Roots FM, Power 106, Sun City Radio, Cool 97 FM, Love 100, Melo FM, and The Observer Group. Melo FM, TVJ, CVM TV, Love 101, and JIS were those which were contracted to air the rebroadcast. So his reason for spending so much on the rebroadcast of his 2023-24 um, debate was as a result of the disruption in the live broadcast presentation and the need to inform the citizens of key aspects of the presentation which outlined the plans of the government for the fiscal year of 2023 to 2024. Prime Minister Andrew Olness was mindful that the disruption affected listenership and viewership due to the break in transmission. So they had a one hour break where they, you know, had mic problems. There was no sound and they were trying to fix it. So he said that was the reason why he paid an extra $5 million to, you know, have those other companies rebroadcast his debate presentation. So guys, having hear all of that from the first part of this video to the Prime Minister's part, tell me what you think, guys, in the comment section. Do you think that, you know, it is worth spending so much on rebroadcasting um, for his presentation? And I'm not sure. Can anybody say what was the figure for... The opposition leader Mark Golden um, presentation. Let me know, guys, if anybody know. Comment down below and let me know. 
Uh, what do you think about um, the joint military effort of the police officers and the JDF in, you know, in search of those 10 most wanted men or those men of interest in South St. Andrew Division? Drop a comment, guys. Thanks for all the support on the videos, guys. Guys, run go over to Teesprings. I'm going to put that link in the description, guys. Also going to put that link in the comment section, guys. Support my little um design that I have over there. You know, my mantra is be nice, be kind. And we just need to spread some love despite what is going on around the world. So if you have any extra funds laying around, guys, when you can just, you know, order one of those merch from Teesprings in support of my channel, Anissa Bell Rose. Remember also to like, share and subscribe, guys. Turn your post notification bell on so you won't miss an upload from me. Follow me on the other platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Anissa Bell Rose. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Big up.